not standing up. That will have to do. Mm -hmm. Right, today we're going to talk about something called a psalm. P S A L M psalm. Psalms are something that kind of everybody's heard of, but nobody really understands or just knows the background about them. Okay, so we're going to talk about. What are they called? A? Yeah, you're right. P. S. A. Good. L. M. Yeah, a psalm. A psalm is a kind of poetry with a unique style, though. Uh, a unique style because they're kind of taken from the Bible. And the Old Testament in the Bible was written in Hebrew. So because of that, it has like a, a bit of a different style to most poems. Mm. Often the first line is um, expanded. The first line is expanded. Oh, upon in the second line. So you have a first line expressing something and then it goes into more detail in the second line. Okay, so which language was it initially written in? Good, H, E, B, good. That's it, R, all the way up. E. W, so the first line does what? S, E, T, sets, T, H, E, sets the, yeah, good. S, C, E, why not, yeah, I like it. S, E, N, E, I'll take it. First line sets the scene. Yeah, well, kind of gives the first point. And the second line. You ready? You're there, you're there. E. X. P. A. Did that say? N. D. Expands. O. On. Mm -hmm. I. Yeah, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. Now the songs, um, many of them are made into hymns. Well, the psalms are made into hymns. Um, and in the Bible, psalm actually means songs of praise. So it's actually quite fitting, isn't it? Have you ever watched that programme, Songs of Praise, on? And everyone's so happy. Okay. So this, the psalms are turned into, what are they called? H, straight there, go on. Y, straight there, M, N, S. And psalm means S, O, N, G. S songs, O, of, P, R, A, I. That was really nice. Do S to E, just practice it. S, E, that's better. Yeah, songs of praise. I didn't know that. And each psalm, in some way, will kind of um, extol and glorify God. So every song should be praising God in some way. Every song does what? <laughs> P, I guess. R, A, I, S, E, praise, G, O, D, yeah, every song, praise God. Mm -hmm. So it sounds quite simply an expression of worship, but they're a public expression, like a lot of people pray, that's a private expression, obviously. This is a very public expression of praise. Now, the psalm that we're looking at is Psalm 23. Psalm. You ready? Yeah, yeah. What are you checking? Yeah. Is that me? Yeah. Have you had lunch? Yeah. Oh, so I don't want to come without lunch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
be on the floor 10 minutes in. <laughs> they sound what? 23. Awesome. Psalm 23 was written, just to give you a bit of background, by King David. And he grew up and worked as a shepherd. And this inspired him really to kind of um, see God in a different way. Like this inspired him to see God as his shepherd. So just as he was a shepherd to the sheep, he saw God as his shepherd. So Psalm 23 was written by who? Was written by? Good. K I N G King D A This way? <laughs> v I D and he was a S H E P perhaps C to P E P Shep H E R D that was nice. And he was a shepherd. So he just loved the metaphor of God being his shepherd in the way that like shepherds care for their flock, make sure they're safe, they're happy, they're nourished. And God would care for him. And also then if you look at a shepherd's flock, they're quite vulnerable to predators. They can't run fast. They're not always smart enough to avoid danger. And so then it's the shepherd's job to help them and keep them safe. So it's the shepherd's job to what? Keep, e, e, p, keep, mm. t, h, e, v, f, l, o, c, k, flock, yeah, s, a, So let's read them. It starts like this. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The, practice it. L, O, R, D. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not. W, A, and it's quite interesting really the Lord is my shepherd and they've put let me check it is a semicolon so it's kind of saying the Lord is my shepherd therefore I shall not want but why would they have done that would you T S H E P H E R D the shepherd W I L L will T A K Yeah, I think you're right. Take C a R E take care O of A L L keep it going all H I his good that was a nice run the shepherd will take care all of his ready mm -hmm. W a good. N T S. The shepherd will take care of all of his wants. I see, yeah. So it's almost like there's no point in wanting because the shepherd will take care of it. It's kind of this, it sets the scene immediately saying, I have everything mm. I need if I um, allow God to be my shepherd. The next line is this He maketh me. 
to lie mm. down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. So he maketh me to lie down in green mm -hmm. pastures. So he's made me to kind of enjoy life, mm. I take that is. He's made me to lie down and enjoy the world. He, lead, he leadeth me behind the still waters. Mm -hmm. So a sense of peace. So just practice. He maketh me to lie down in the G. R, good, E, E, and green, keep it going, P, A, oh, <coughs> <coughs> oh, you've got a nasty one, I need another one, got it out, okay, after rest, doing fab, T, U, R, E, S, I'll take it, he lead me to the what, he lead me to the, T I L. You ready? Still W A T E R S. Green pastures, still waters. And there as well, just from if we're looking at the poetic techniques here. We're really getting like a sense of place now. We're kind of getting no, no, no. some strong imagery coming through that we can kind of imagine the scene. No. It's helping us create an image. What do you think? T H E P O E, the poet. Do you want it? H. So practice H again. H. A. Has. Which one? C. Ah, oh, good. E. This is nice. A. T. E. D. Poet has created. Yes, yes. No. Are you ready? A. Oh, which one? Yeah, you did A. So A. Okay, C. Go back to C again. So A in here. C, that's better. A. L. M. Calm. T. O. N. E. A calm tone. Yes. Because nature is quite calming, isn't it? He restoreth my soul. Give me a hand if you want. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for the name's sake. So it's kind of saying if you don't know which way to go in your own life, then you can kind of take the way of integrity. And this part, he restoreth my soul. So, if you're saying if you're restoring your soul, it kind of you can kind of reason, oh, no. that person at that point maybe is feeling a bit empty, a bit lost. No, no, no. Oh yeah, we will. Want to go now? Oh, Let's turn this off for a sec. So we just talked about the line, "He restoreth my soul," to so kind of giving the impression like if you're lost, if you're not sure what to do, if you're hurt then he will kind of um, restore your soul for you. What do you think about that line? T H A T that I is C O M F O R T I N G comforting. Mm. Yeah, it is. That is comforting. T O two K 
N O W. That is comforting to know. S O N. I think you were there, <laughs> E, so T I N. Straight there, E. Sometimes I. E, E, feel, L, I, K, like, I. That was a good job, a good chunk there. Sometimes I feel like I. Ready? You're straight there. A, good. A, go back to A. M. Do I am again? A. That's it, M. A. B. I. T bit. L. O. S. T. Oh, feel like I. I'm a bit lost. E. S. P. E, C, I, A, L, L, especially W, straight there, I, do finish off this word when you're doing great, W, I, T, with, A, L, L, O, T, H, E, especially with all the S, E, I, Z, I'll take it, <laughs> U, Z, U, R, E, especially with all the seizures, B, U, E, but T. But E. H, E, L, P, S, but he helps. M, E, he helps me. T, O, T, S, T. A, just practice T and A. T, A, Y, stay, S, T, R, do R again, R, O, N, G. V helps me to stay strong. Oh, that's lovely to hear. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for the name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For though I with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. And just for practice, though I walk through the valley of the, this is making to a wrap this line, S H A D O W perfect shadow. O of D E A Nice, good. D E A Get your hand. T H I will fear no E good. Mm -hmm. V I Fear no evil. For though art with
with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort. So kind of the shepherds have the um, rods and staff, don't they, to kind of protect and care for the sheep. So saying that kind of in the same way God is there protecting him. This is a nice thought, isn't it, that you can kind of, I mean, this is like a metaphor really, like walking um, somebody, somewhere that's dangerous, shadow of death. But because God's with them, they're fearing mm -hmm. them. Hang on. What did you hear? Thanks, <laughs> man. Right, we've collected the post, we're back. Yeah, so it's quite a nice thought, isn't it? This is the next bit. Thou preparest a table before me. Before me. In the presence of mine enemies. Oh, enemies. <laughs> Thou preparest a... T A B L. Oh, that's lovely. That's perfect. Table F O R four M. Mhm. Mm Before my enemies. So even though all the enemies are there, God's preparing this table for him. Thou anointest my head with oil. I love all the old English. Anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. So the first line, I prepare us a table performing in the presence of mine enemies. In life we're always going to encounter enemies and people that don't like what we're doing. Even then, God is going to um, nourish and look after you there, provide a feast for you. <clears throat> so even in the worst of times, with all the enemies there, he will take care of you. Even in what times? Finger? That's better. W? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. O. R. S. T. Worst stuff. T. I. M. E. S. Times. G. O. D. God. Let me just change a little bit. God. W, I straight there, W, I. L, L will, T, A, K, uh huh, take, C, A, R, E, K. Just finish it off, just for see. It's good to practice stamina when you're doing teach ask. Oh, uh, otherwise it's always hard when you do some go and it's long and you've just been practicing little words. Bio. Good. Yeah. God will take care of you. Times. Can we manage to get? God will take care. Mm-hmm. Thou anointest my head with oil. So basically, um, they practiced in biblical times to, ognify, um, to honor and dignify a person. Um, so they did it when somebody was deeply respected. So he will deeply respect you in front of your enemies. My cup runneth over. So he's kind of giving you more love than you'd ever even need. So it just pours out. <laughs> more love. It's very clever though how they use the metaphor of a cup running over because if, if they just said, oh you've given me more love that I'd ever need, it's kind of like, oh. But you can really imagine though kind of this love being poured into a cup and then it all kind of spilling out. So they're using the metaphor there to help convey his strong feelings. What device did they use? They used a... You're doing fine. Come on, you can do it. A U stay. M. E. Perfect. T straight there. A. Good. 
P H O. We use a metaphor to convey your strong feelings. That what was running over? A L O G O D All gods L O V and B. All gods love. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So mercy is like forgiveness, isn't it? Surely goodness and forgiveness shall follow me all the days of my life can't be perfect so you're saying God will always be good and God will always forgive and I will dwell in the house of the Lord so we're using another metaphor then saying that the Lord has like a house <laughs> so he'll always kind of um keep his attention on the Lord and live by uh, the Lord's rules surely goodness and M yeah E R C <laughs> Why mercy shall follow me all the days of my L I F E and I will dwell in the H O U S house O of T H E V L O R D Lord that was good House of the <laughs> Keep it going you're doing fab L O R D Lord F O F O what R E B B R of the Lord forever. It's quite lovely, really, isn't it? Let me just add a number to this one. Number one. Let's think of three things. Three things that really stood out to you in that psalm. Let me just read it all the way through. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in the green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I think it's yay actually, yay. <laughs> though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. There's just three things that stood out to you. It could be a word used, um, an idea, um, a metaphor. It's the first thing. T H E V I D E the idea O of T H E V S H okay <laughs> E P good H very nice E that was really that was really strong Hey, careful with it. You did E. R. D. See, the idea of the shepherd. I like that too. The idea of the shepherd. Mm hmm. T. 
T H E V the what A U T I S you got sneeze? Go and have a good blow. You know that good? D A U T I S T I C The Autistics W O U L Wood F I N D find T H E V P A R T The Autistics would find D Thank you. You ready? Find the which one? P. A. Good. P. A. R. T. Part. A. B. O. U. T. About. R. E. S. T. O. R. Really good. I. N. Restoring. T H E V good S O U L <laughs> find the part about restoring the soul V E you are my very C O M F O R T I N G very comforting ah. <laughs> that's interesting okay give me one more thing then. one more thing that sends out to you any ideas, images? T H E V C U P the cup R U N N I N Running O V E are running over W I T with L O very good V E the cup mm -hmm. hang on hang on running over with love they're really nice things we've picked up from that now while well, I'll break in a second just listen to this there's a competition at the moment well, not a competition but there's an opportunity to kind of um share work on, on a display at the certain united reformed church and um, what they've done is they've asked people to look through this poem and sh either share their thoughts about it they could do something creative so basically it's down to you what you want to do for it really and if you want to do it you might decide like if these three things have inspired you the most you might decide you want to write something about the shepherd you might want to focus on restoring the soul and what that means to you. You could do something about the cut running over with love. You can make any of these things in a poem or just give your personal thoughts on it. So you see it's really like wide open what we do. So what we'll do is we'll have a little break and have a think about it. But do you have any ideas at the moment or which which one you feel like you'd like to take forward or you don't even have to do this, it could be something else. <laughs> 
T H A T that's A N I C E and ice I D E A yeah it is a nice idea isn't it so that's a nice idea I W I I think yeah touch it properly I L L will S H A that's good R E share M Y my do this and then we'll have a little break anyway but I will share mine doing great T H O U G where <laughs> H T thoughts A B O U T about R you're just finishing off this sentence you have to tell yourself that if it's going to be much for you just think just a little sentence to go so i will share my thoughts about you just finish off this sentence share my thoughts about r e s t o r i n g restoring M. We're doing perfectly. That's it, nearly there. M Y my S O U My Soul A N D and give me that hand. What's about restoring my soul and W H A T what T H A T and what that M E A <laughs> Go back to A A straight there, go on. N S and what that means F O R for M E and what that means for me. So I'll just check if there's anything else. What that means for me. We could just do end if that's the end of it. What that means for me. A as A as am A U T I S T C autistic P E R S O N okay what that means for me as an autistic person that would be brilliant so you have a think of like that mull over in the background and we'll have a little break for a while that's fab oh I hope that's in a good position so I will share my thoughts about restoring my soul and what that means for me as an autistic person. So this is inspired by the line, he restores my soul and what that means for you. Good idea. Oh yeah, I think 
you like a bit of Vaseline? And it'll help a little bit, it's a little bit dry. Okay. All right, let's let that soak in. You did as a non-verbal. A, of a U, T, I, S, T, I, C, as a non-verbal autistic, P, E, R, S, O, N. As a non-verbal autistic person, Immensely. Which one? E N C O U R A G I N Immensely encouraging A N D and C O M O R T I N G. I find it immensely encouraging and comforting. T H A that G O God I is A L W A Y S God is always W I T with M me that God is always with me. Um, it's about half one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in a good spot. Looks a bit high. I find it immensely encouraging and comforting that God is always with me. T Two. R E S T O R to restore M Y my S O U L to restore my soul. Which one? doing fine, tell yourself. You can grab my hand if you need to. S-U-F-F E I suffer W I T H with S E I Z Good. U R E I suffer with seizures.
possible seizures A N and S O N E in sum T I M E sometimes A F T E Percy, you're doing fine. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, about two minutes past is your last test. <laughs> yeah, two minutes past. Do we again? And sometimes A F T E. Okay, I can't see mm. what you're doing. After W A. Okay. Mm. Give me the hand to hold. Are you going to carry on? A. R, D, sometimes afterwards, I, A, M, I am, L, okay, E, F, T on the left, F, E, E, L, I, N, G, feeling, Oh, you're doing good. And sometimes afterwards, I and left. <coughs> oh, not bless you. Yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Which hand do you want to go with? Sometimes after. Afterwards, I'm left feeling H O P E L E S Hopeless A N D and A F R A I D. I'm left feeling hopeless and afraid. Mm. I in T H O S E in those M O M. Hey, you're doing good. Tell yourself. Well done. E. N, T, in those moments, I, A, S, K, ask, G, O, D, well done. In those moments, I ask God, you're doing so well, I ask God, T, T, yeah, I got that one. O, two, H, E, L, P, to help. Mm. To help. Oh, keep it going. M, me. I feel like you're about to get up. <laughs> yeah. A bit grumpy again. Yeah. Should we do two more things? So I think we'll get some more water because even I'm a bit thirsty now. In those moments I ask God to help me. O U T out O out of D, E, S, P, A, I, out of despair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two more things. Give me that hand, you can do it. I promise I'd never ask more of you than you could do. Two more things, yeah? Out of despair. 
Take a few deep breaths. Mm. Tell me how many. Like two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Out of despair. So this is we just this is the second thing. Mm. What's that hand doing? You have to tell yourself. What's that hand doing? Out of despair. Mm. What is it doing? Mm. Pop it down. That's it. Good. Let's keep that one on your knee. We'll grow this one. Out of despair. A N D and I N T bowing into good. Mm -hmm. Hang on, keep it down. Out of despair and into H I and into his. Okay, 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 okay. Into his. Just finish yourself. Into his A R M arms I G O. There you go. Yeah. All right, all right. Into his arms. Okay, let's have a little break for a bit. Doing really well. That's it. Right. Where did we get to? As a non-verbal autistic person, I find it immensely encouraging and comforting that God is always with me to restore my soul. I have suffered seizures and sometimes afterwards I can... I am left feeling hopeless and afraid. In those moments I ask God to help me. Out da, of da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, God's downstairs. And into his arms I go. Mm -hmm. Let's finish it off. Really good. Have to get a good position. A-W, practice A-W, so A, listen, listen, we're just finishing it off, tell yourself that, just finishing it, so A, W, A, Y, good, let me write that down, taking my fear away. We'll do a sentence and have a break. How about that? Can you come up again? Come on. <laughs> You're so good. Um. Ready? Go now. I'm filling me with love. G. 
Yeah, you, you, would you lie down? And alone inside. It might be alone in silence, or it might be alone and then something in silence, so we'll work it out. <laughs> we'll just squash. Oh, yeah? You look good. After pee. It's a touch pee again. Pee. Hmm? Pee. You go H E L P. E. D helped. M. E me. T. O two. S. T. T H R O U good G straight H O U throughout L. Come on, just look at this. Keep look at this. Because you'll do it. L L Y I F E throughout lives. H U R 
D L E F. Slide down. Do this up with just a positive. Throughout life cycles. Taking my fear away and filling me with love. God restores my soul when I am lost and alone in silence. This has helped me to stay positive throughout life's hurdles. Good. This is fab. You want to finish it off? A little bit of a push? Mm -hmm. Yeah? What are you waiting for? Oof. You let me know if you want another one. Mm. H E V E N the end. There you go, perfect. You happy with everything? I'll just check in. Let's guess, guess. Have a guess. Yeah, you're about right. I mean, I can't, it is an awkward watch because it doesn't have dots, and so I'd say that's about right. About five minutes or touch the five again. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. You happy with it all? You don't want to make any changes? I think it's great, bro. I A I am P L E A S E D I am pleased. W I'm pleased with T H A T. Yeah, I think you should be. I just have one more question. I am pleased. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Come back. <laughs> I just wanted to know if you wanted to um, have a title or anything. I just, I just put at the top here "Restore of My Soul" because that was what. Ba -ba -ba. Was... <laughs> yeah, you're right. I put that at the top because that's just what kind of the line you're inspired by, but would you want it to be anything different? N O T H A T. So no, that's A F I N. You know that's a five. I D E. Oh, thank you, Chris. The best of fine idea. Well, I love that. I think that's an excellent.